Here we have a question that's asking us to factor a trinomial. Except for what's different about this trinomial is that the power on x is 4 in the leading term, and the power on x in the middle term is 2. The final term is still a regular constant. When you're trying to factor a trinomial, normally the powers are 2 and 1. So here you see they've been doubled to 4 and 2. So the idea is you can still factor it in the regular way, except you want to think of um, this as having a substitution. Instead of x squared, we have x fourth. Instead of x, we have x squared. So all of the powers on x have been doubled. The idea behind this is, imagine that we're going to substitute, instead of x squared, a new symbol or letter. And you have a choice, but a popular choice is the letter U. So wherever you see x squared, you replace it with U. If you do that, then the problem changes to 3, and then instead of x to the 4th, since x squared is u, that means that x to the 4th would be u squared. Minus 7. Now here we see that we have x squared, but x squared is u, so we just write, instead of x squared, u. And then we have minus 26. So the idea is to factor now this new trinomial with the letter u replacing x squared. It looks more regular. We can see that the leading coefficient in this case is a 3. So you have a choice of trial and error to factor it, or you could use the AC method. I'm going to use trial and error. The trial and error, error approach says that we expect a trinomial of this form to factor down into two binomials. So usually you start with the first term, 3u squared, and you're going to fill in two spots in the front of each of the binomials that multiply to 3u squared. Since 3 is a prime number, really we, our only choice is 3u and u. The next part of trial and error approach is to look at the final term. It's a 26 in this case, and it's negative. What numbers multiply to 26? Well, you have a couple of choices. We could do with 13 times 2, or 26 times 1. If we start with the first choice, given 13 times 2, we know that'll give us 26. We know that it wants to come out to negative 26, but to verify that we actually have picked the right combination, we also want to make sure that when we check the products of the inside and outside terms, it also has to add up to negative 7u. So let's check the two products. In the middle we have 13u, on the outside we have 6u. Will that add up to negative 7u? Well, it could if we make it a negative 13 and a positive 6, which means we want to have a negative here and a positive there. So we found the factors for the substituted polynomial, which was 3u squared minus 7u minus 26. That does factor to 3u minus 13 times u plus 2. But the last part is to go back to the original variables, because remember, that was x. And so wherever you see a u, you want to replace it with what u is equal to, which is x squared. So the final answer would be, instead of 3, 
u minus 13, it would be 3x squared minus 13. And then instead of u plus 2, it would be x squared plus 2. Hmm. You want to take a last look at this polynomial and make sure that after it has been factored, there isn't any further factorization possible. Like for example, is this a difference of squares? No, it is not. Or is there a common factor that I could take out of here? No, I cannot. So in this case, that means that you're finished and that it is fully factored. Made with DoodleCast Pro.